If you are watching this, you are experiencing some type of problem with your PC. Let that be disconnections from our server, game crashes, audio issues, etc. I'm going to cover basic PC health and optimization for Arma 3. All you need to do is follow along step by step. This process is very easy, and if you need any help, just get in contact with me. The first thing we are going to do is a mod list update. Go ahead and launch your Arma launcher. Go to the mods tab, launch Discord, go to the info category, and then mod list. Once you're here, download the mod list that is required for yourself. So for example, if you own the Western Sahara CDLC, download this one. If you do not own the Western Sahara CDLC, download this one. Now that you have the list downloaded, open your file explorer, go to downloads, drag and drop the mod list. You have updated your mod list. Any changes that were made have now been installed on your computer. Now that you have your mod list updated, there can be an instance where a mod author updates a mod and your PC does not download that update. Sometimes that's a Steam issue, maybe you forgot to click the download button on your Armor 3 downloads under your library, so all we really need to do is scroll down to whatever mod that was updated, which will be mentioned in the announcements channel of the Discord, and all you do is right click on that mod and hit repair. The most common mod that will need repaired is the TFTP mod. So all you do is right click on this boy, hit repair just like before, and it should auto install any updates and you should be good to go 99% of the time. But for whatever reason, this does not work for some TFT members. And if that's the case, all you do is hit the drop down, delete the mod, pull up your file explorer, go to downloads, double click the mod list, find the mod, go to the link, and hit subscribe. You'll see that the mod was reinstalled, then you just hit load and you're good to go. Next, we're going to talk about TeamSpeak audio. Launch TeamSpeak, go to tools, options, go to playback, and then hit the drop down for playback device. Select the hardware for whatever playback device you are using, such as a headset. Do not use default, use the hardware of the device that your PC detects. Sometimes there will be an issue with Windows where you have a default device selected and an application does not properly orient that device. It's odd and it's a very common thing, so just make sure in whatever game you play for that matter, you just select the hardware for the audio you use. It'll be accurate 100% of the time. Now that that is selected, go down to voice volume adjustment and increase TeamSpeak's volume by plus five decibels. I prefer to have it around plus 7.5 decibels, and this is the maximum I would recommend. For most TFT members, plus five is comfortable. Next, go to capture. Now that you have capture selected, we're going to do the same thing that we did before in playback. You're going to select capture device and choose the hardware you are using for your microphone. Now that that is done, go down to voice activity detection, make sure that's selected, and then have mode automatic enabled. Then go down to digital signal processing, enable remove background noise, type of continuation, and echo cancellation. You're going to increase remove background noise to the absolute maximum. After this has been completed, hit apply, okay, and you're good to close TeamSpeak. Next, we're gonna go to parameters here in our Arma 3 launcher. Select all parameters, checkbox, memory, allocator. For most users, the default is completely fine. After that's completed, hit the checkbox for system memory limit. After that has been done, launch task manager. Go to performance, select memory. Here in your memory tab, on the right hand side, you'll see how much total RAM your PC has. Mine has 64. So all you do is divide this number in half and add three zeros. So 64 divided by two is 32, and then you add three zeros after it. So for example, 32, three zeros, one, two, three. After that has been done, hit the arrow to the right hand side, boop, just once. Now your system memory limit is properly established. Now we're going to do video memory limit. Just like before, we're gonna open up our task manager. Instead, we're gonna go down to GPU, then you'll see dedicated GPU memory right here in your task manager. My GPU has eight gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory. So just like before, you're going to divide that number in half and add three zeros. So eight divided by two is four, add three zeros, one, two, three, and hit the right arrow, boop, and you're good to go. Now that video memory limit is done, you're going to checkbox command line. Once command line has been checkboxed, you need to find Arma 3's path in your PC. For example, for me, I go to this PC, a C drive, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Armor 3. For you, it might be under your Steam library. It doesn't matter where it is, just find the location of the directory. Also, you might want to double check your hardware and make sure that you have your game installed on an SSD or even better, an NVMe drive. 
So now that you have your directory, you're gonna go up to this list here where you see Steam Apps, Common, Arma 3, and to the right of the bar here in this blank space, you're just gonna click once. Now you have your directory highlighted. Hold left control and push C as in Charlie. Left control Charlie. That is a shortcut for copying a text that you've highlighted. If you rather prefer, right click and hit copy. Once that's completed, close out your file explorer and under the command line box, you're going to paste with control V, control Victor. Now that your directory is pasted under your command line, scroll down to the description below and highlight this line of code here. The minus malloc equals system code. Left control C or right click copy and then paste it in here at the tail end of your command line. One of the things that some people do is they forget to have a space in between their directory and the malloc code here. So make sure that you add a space bar boop, right here in between your directory and the code that you just pasted. If it's two space bars, it won't work. If there is no space bar, it won't work. So it's just got to be one. So just one itty bitty space bar right there. Now that you got that completed, go ahead and launch your game. At the main menu of Arma 3, go to the top right under options and select audio. Under audio, I recommend turning your music down to about 25%, have radio turned down to about 50%, Vaughn completely off because nobody plays public servers, and your effects volume at about 50%. Once you have that established, hit OK, and then select video. Your video settings will be entirely dependent on the hardware you have on your PC. I highly recommend contacting me personally about this so that we can optimize these settings perfectly. There is so much knowledge that I have that I cannot just simply spew out because all this stuff is situational. I can give you some basic advice of how to set up your settings if you have a relatively powerful PC, such as a 2060 GPU or better, a 5300 CPU or better, so on and so forth. I recommend having your texture from high to ultra. My PC can handle ultra graphics for both texture and objects, but I prefer having it a bump down just to ensure smooth performance. Next for objects, same thing, high to ultra, terrain. I always recommend this to be on ultra, shadow, high to very high, particles, standard to high, cloud, high to very high, pip, standard to high, overall 2500. Do not do what I did here and have it at 2800, have yours at about 2500. For object, have that roughly 300 meters shorter than your overall. For shadow, I recommend having this selected from 100 to 150. For pip, have this between 1000 and 1500. HDR, have this set to standard. Dynamic lights, high to ultra. Water reflections, standard to high. Under display, make sure that you have your display mode set to full screen, your proper resolution, your proper aspect ratio. Have V-Sync enabled if you have a V-Sync monitor and enable your brightness and gamma to whatever is comfortable for the checkbox here as the game recommends. Under AA and PP, from bloom all the way down to depth of field, turn all of that shit to zero. For your sharpen filter, I recommend having having this between 50 to 80. For ambient occlusion, I recommend having HBAO plus soft to strong, have caustics disabled for FSAA, eight times, ATOC, all trees plus grass, PPAA, SMAA high to very high, and ESO filtering very high. Your brightness, contrast, and saturation is all user preference, but I recommend having the settings that I have enabled here. So your brightness about 100, contrast 110, saturation 95. The colors aren't too vibrant, the shadows aren't too aggressive, the bright colors and textures aren't too aggressive, etc. If you're one of those guys who has their saturation just absolutely cranked, you're a fucking weirdo, don't do that. Now you're going to close out your game and open your Windows settings. Under Windows settings, go down to the bottom left where it says Windows Update, hit check for updates, and install anything that comes up here. Once this has been completed, go ahead and launch your graphics card driver. Whatever brand you use will have a different app for this. So for Nvidia, it's GeForce Experience. For AMD, it's something else. So just make sure that you have this app installed and then you go to the driver selection, check for updates and install any updates this requires. Next, launch Steam. Go to Library, Home, Find Armor 3, right click, go to Properties, Installed files. Verify integrity of game files. Steam will begin its verify, and after the verify is complete, it'll go through its installation under the Downloads tab. So make sure that the verify gets completed first, and after the verify, the download finishes before doing anything else. While your Steam is doing its thing, hit your Windows key, type in Command Prompt, and launch Command Prompt as an administrator. With your Command Prompt launched as an administrator, scroll down to the description below and highlight this SFC Scan Now code. 
Once you have that highlighted, control C or right click copy and paste under your command prompt, press enter. Your Steam is doing a full revalidation of all of your mod and game files while your PC is completing a Windows revalidation. So if there's any type of corrupted files from a virus, from you accidentally deleting something or general wear and tear over years of use of your PC, all these things will recover any types of files or information that has been lost. My command prompt has completed and you'll see that there is no integrity violations on my PC. For you, it might tell you, hey, there was corrupted files that are being recovered currently and it might go through another installation in here, whatever. Just make sure that you're just letting this do its thing. Likewise with Steam. After your PC and Steam revalidation is completed, go ahead and restart your PC. After you have restarted your PC, you are good to proceed with mission and get back into the game ready to rock. Everything that we did here will fix all sorts of problems that you may have. Let that be audio bugs, game disconnections, game crashes, etc. If you have any questions about anything that was covered, let me know in the comments below or contact one of Task Force Trauma's NCOs or officers. They'll be able to get a hold of you. During an event, I will be streaming. All of my Discord notifications will be turned off and I'll be focused on hosting the events of our campaign. I wish you luck. We'll see you soon.